Thank you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can start in a few moments. So, uh, just so that I don't have to be organised and uh, that's the end of the day. And then I'm going to do the next thing. I'm going to do the
And so we do receive the body of our friend, Mrs. Jeffers, with confidence in God, the giver of life, who raised the Lord Jesus from us. Mark her line, and uh, Reverend Allison has travelled all the way to the darkest, deepest bit of Birmingham, and uh, Reverend uh, Oliver Water uh, is going to lead us our prayers, and that there are other pastors and priests in the congregation Because we do meet in the name of Jesus Christ, and die. I was raised to the glory of God, grace, mercy, and peace be with you. That is prayer. Almighty, you judge us with infinite mercy and peace, and love everything you have in your mercy. Turn the darkness of death into the dawn of a new life. And the sorrow of our is the joy through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We remain standing as we sing our own immortal, invisible God only. <laughs> Uh, and the love and the love and the passion that she 
show in her life. She's also a big fan of the Psalms. So I'll refer to it in her life tomorrow. Read some Psalms, some of the from the collector, or I can just do that. I am, uh, as you go to have my magic book on the heart, saying to me, you will stand in her front room, that my cup has room for me. Can anybody to stand today? As we sing in our next day, the day now lives, the Lord has it. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then my cousins, who grew up in the city, have fun memories, or maybe not so fun memories, of being slowly dragged around Leicester Market, <laughs> looking for the best deal, even if that meant having a market trader for the difference or something like that. But that confidence has got us all in a good step. You know, it's taught us to never dishonor our desires, to always maintain a sense of integrity, and to respect the goal and deserve your life. It's funny that you can imitate Peter's church knowing that it's on the corner of Gospel Street because Gospel Street was the only rightful base for the Gentile family and for the wider Caribbean community in Leicester. There was always someone in the community visiting you, and that's a true testament to how much of a pivotal figure you were and how much comfort Gospel Street provided for those who needed it. As kids, you know, we used to love running up and down the hallway. Causing havoc on the stairs, trying to see the biscuit from the kitchen before dinner, or you give us free the moon, chocolate, and stuff like that, and stuff like that, you know, which you basically deserve for the chicken and then. <laughs> and when we all could eventually be taller than you, which, let's be real, but that's all, most of those things have never changed. And with the majority of the grandchildren who are all stuck behind me, now being adults, and the great grandkids running up and down the hallway and causing havoc in the house. Grandma, despite being surrounded by all of these people who loved you and were descended from you, you never miss a beat. You may you remain sharp until the day that you pass the sun. And we all have memories of not being able to talk whilst you watch songs of praise, the snooker, or the Queen's speech on Christmas Day, or all the soaps and game shows on that little TV in the kitchen from 5 p.m. onwards. And then when we were finished, we had the cheek to bore us to death with the plot lines and the first time to break down each character from Karen Emmerdale and Coronation Street, even though we didn't care. <laughs> but, you know, the church that we sat in today, it holds so much importance for our family. And you spent over 60 years faithfully coming in, understanding the power of love, and sharing that with your family. You embodied faith and integrity <coughs> and honesty, and we're so grateful that you have passed out those qualities to keep us. So, Grandma, please know that we and your grandchildren are just as proud of you as you are of us, and we will continue to live a life of love and be forever inspired by your beautiful legacy. We love you, Grandma, and we rest in your love. Thank you. Thank 
que más. ¿no? Thank you. 
She gets grounded in her own diplomatic way. Then she starts again, but she's the side of promise. Mom never forgot anyone's birthday, even in her later years of the We went to the night, it was our last night, and those all remembered the smile on the face when I mentioned Mama, the old woman, our grandmother. Then we peacefully went to sleep. I'm glad I was born with you. We miss you dearly, and you will never be forgotten. May you rest in peace. Always lovely to hear stories uh, and tributes to some people you think you know uh, as we go through to celebrate the life, learn more and more uh, about my and Bryce, uh, Franklin, and Jeff. Let me start by saying, me and my family came from Barbados in 2012. It's January 7th. I was in London. And um, two days later, I went down to talk to And I was depressed for the last few days thinking that I was not. And I, took, I felt fit. I was happy. I was okay. And took natural flow tests, PCR tests, and positive. Last night, I prayed to mom. I said, Mom, I'm going to make you feel good. Took a PCR test. This morning, I was late. Mom, you came through for me like you always do. Like you always do. So let me start this eulogy. I saw the Jennifer being nominated to do this. I didn't think I would, but I saw the type of best of So, on behalf of my family, I would like to thank everyone who's come out here today to pay their respects to my She would love to be a woman, and she's humbled by all the love that you are all here today in the church to celebrate the past. We are here today to celebrate the life of a wonderful woman, Mrs. Eleanor Beatrice Jefferson, named after her grandmother, and also known to those close to her as Nala, and Nala Jackie. As a family, we have endured a lot of pain and sadness since losing our mother, but she wanted us to rejoice, and she wanted us to rejoice as part of her passing. She was never one to be depressed or forget this one, she really loved us. And the best we can do now is to enjoy the celebrate the class. As I said, my name is Frank. I am the second oldest child of six. I started with the eldest sister, Teresa, where are you? And my eldest sister, Teresa. And then there was me, my handsome husband. <laughs> <laughs> my handsome son. Again, you say that. Helena, third youngest. George, 
Bernard. She was a former member of the Brighton Church Council, the Black Anglican Forum, and she attended Bible classes at the African Caribbean Centre, where she hosted some. From as long as we can remember, our house is always full with many unconscious gatherings, whether that be at the church or simply simply people just have to buy just because. Mum loved cooking and always made more food than needed, just in case someone else. And never did they did it. Mum always welcomed you in with a big warm smile. And she was able to um, entertain a whole conversation with anyone who listened. Either way, you could not leave without having had something to do, whether you were in the room. Mum was not the most demonstrative person in show, but food was one way she always expressed her love. Another pastime of her was attending the allotment in Ethel Road, a place where she found a sense of peace and she often told me if she invited her to home once a week. She would also drag our father along with her. He would chop no as he drove her there, but he never admitted that he loved spending time there with her. Our mother was a very independent person, and she found it difficult in meeting kids to come to terms with the gradual loss of her. Despite her reduced mobility and growth, as a family, we cared and comforted her about these changes right until her very last moment. We would like to thank um, Linda, De Linda Diesel's care agent that expertly assisted me in the last two and a half years. They showed her love, care, and compassion each day and treated her like their own with dignity and respect. Through all this, Mum remained strong willed and in charge. This she made sure we knew. Even as her eyesight failed, she saw she still thought of it, reminding us how to do things exactly how she liked. Shortly before her passing, she had a cataract operation. We were so grateful for her eyesight was restored, and she was able to re-establish some of her favourite hobbies: her love of word searches, reading the Bible, and of course, her soaps and tea. But most of all, Boxing Day, seeing everyone from the front together. We would like to thank everyone who kept in touch with her, particularly in recent years. And she spent most of her time at home talking to people on the phone and the iPad uh, was her way of keeping in touch with the community and it meant a lot to her. We all miss her tremendously and her legacy lives on with her children, grandchildren and great grandchildren and the lives of those that she touched. I am particularly heartened by the singing of Ted, which uh, gives us more uh, permission because we're going to uh, sing again. I know we've had to open uh, the doors just to get some fresh air. Uh, please know that during this we will go and shut the doors down <laughs> so that the glass will uh, disappear. So uh, don't worry, it's well to sing. You can play the doors. That's brilliant. And uh, if I could invite you all to uh, stand again as we sing through all the changing scenes of. <laughs> Thank 
Uh, this is a treatment uh, for Antonia who loves songs. So my dad is going to sing <laughs> Psalm 150 of Praise for His Holiness. If anyone knows it, please join me. <laughs> okay. Good day, friends. And and family, where we are, to join this ten shadow of baby, and I stumble on and attend this kind of morning with your soul. And I know that my sister. My golden sister used to be praising God. She prayed God all her life. And now she has labored to prepare a place for us. So we all don't, don't be dismayed. She began to prepare a place for us. For when we come. And this song, 150, will further help because that's a way of praising God to say my way in my church. And uh, oh, praise God in His holiness, praise Him in the fullness of His heart. Praise him in his mighty heart. Praise him upon his feet and his own great man. Praise him in the heart of the trumpet. Praise him upon the heart of the Praise him in the temple and dungeon. Praise him upon the spirit and time. Praise him upon his temple. Praise him upon the darkness. Let everything that I say praise the Lord. Praise the Normally, at this point, I would be the one who would be following that. <laughs> May the words of my mouth and the thoughts and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to God. Jamal read for us from Psalm 23. <coughs> Although I walk through the valley. 
valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So firstly, to say in my condolences to all of our Mrs. Jeffers, family, friends and neighbours who gathered here today. And thank you so much for inviting me to preach. It's a great joy and privilege for my husband Peter and myself to be back at St. Peter's Church, Highfield, the church where Peter and I met and where we were married 10 years ago. And that might not have happened if Mrs. Jeffers had not turned to Peter the first day he stepped inside this church and said to him, Welcome, brother. Welcome, brother. So as I give thanks for the privilege of having known Mrs. Jeffers in the years when I was the priest, I remember a lady of such spiritual depth and love of scripture, a lady who would talk with pride about her job at the Hillcrest, Hillcrest Hospital. And I never bored of hearing her reflect on her life because in many ways, she reminded me of my own mother, Carol, who was born on the island of Sepulveda, and who also came to make England her home, and who worked in hospitals in Kent and London. This is a hard thing to say. The whole Windrush scandal has reminded us, people of colour, of how badly our mothers, our grandmothers, our fathers, our grandfathers were treated when they first came to England. And one of the many stories that I've heard was the one on the radio when Moira Stewart, the newspaper, was talking about how when her own mother worked in a London hospital, many patients who had never seen a black nurse or a black auxiliary were sometimes afraid to hold the hand that reached out to them. In Psalm 23, we hear how God walks with us through all our lives, but especially through the valley of the shadow of death. And we know this to be true because Jesus, God's own son, walked that lonely road to Calvary to die on the cross, that we might be free from our sins and might find the way back to our true home with God. Now, Mrs. Jeffers will be smiling because she always said to me, Reverend, you need to preach more about the cross. Reverend, you need to preach more about the cross. And I have taken those words to my heart. And I now always preach about the cross in a way that I never did. Because if we do not believe in the cross of Jesus Christ, then our faith is in vain. You cannot come to the joy of Easter morning unless you have been through Good Friday. And I don't just mean coming to church. I mean in your own spiritual life. For we all have time, and especially perhaps through the time of the pandemic, when we feel God has abandoned us. Eli, Eli, said that come. Jesus cries from the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We, all of us here, I know, have experienced that sense of deep loneliness, of abandonment. St. Paul, in his first letter to the church in Corinth, chapter 15, verse 12. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our proclamation has been in vain. If for this life only we have hope in Christ, 
We are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been linked to the first fruit of those who have died. Amen. And so, at those times of despair and despondency, of sadness and grief, when we feel like giving up, we need the faith and the support of the Christian community to keep us going, to help us keep the faith, to continue to trust and to obey. Mrs. Jeffers' faith was sustained by her regular attendance at church, by her love of the scriptures, and for her own inner spiritual life of prayer and reflection. And she knew, as we know, that as Romans chapter 8 reminds us, as St. Paul says, I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us, that's you and me, from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Mrs. Jeffers was a deeply uh, devout Christian woman and her faith went beyond her Sunday studies. She loved to study the Bible. And I learned a lot from listening to her understanding of what God was saying through the scripture. I know that Mrs. Jeffers loved the Psalms. And I know that she would have been comforted by Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your star, they comfort me. As we gather today to say goodbye to Mrs. Jeffers, we all have our own individual memories and reflections of encountering her, of knowing her, as family, friends, neighbour, church, brother. And we hold those in our thoughts and our prayers. And we give thanks to God for her life and for all those ways in which God has touched us through her. It was a real privilege to have sat with Mrs. Jeffers in her house and prayed with her and heard her story. And we commend her now in God's safe keeping, where we know the saints and angels, the patriarchs and the prophets, will come out to meet her and take her home. And may we, as we remember Mrs. Jeffers and give thanks to her mother, Copy her example in her welcome and her kindness to all who come your way. Let us pray. Almighty God, we know that the souls of the righteous are in your hands. So we pray welcome Eleanor Jeffers into the heavens where there is no more sorrow or pain. And by your mercy, give to us who mourn her heart the comfort of your Holy Spirit, that we may put our whole faith and trust in the saving work of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. For we ask in his name. Amen. May she rest in peace and rise in peace. To continue with uh, the environment that God has moved in our lives.
We pray for Eleanor Beatrice. And we give God thanks for all we have received from him. Loving God, we give you thanks that we are made in your image and likeness. And that in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we have overcome the sharpness of death. Lord, in your mercy. We remember in your presence, Eleanor Beatrice, whose whole life on earth has ended. We pray that you will continue to work in her the purpose of your peace and will. Through our Lord, Lord and Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, Lord, 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 in your mercy. But God of compassion, we pray for those who mourn, especially at this time, for the Jeffers family, for their friends and neighbors. And for those who need of you is very great. We pray especially for all of us here today. today. And, and those, those, those who, who could not make it due to the COVID, COVID illness, illness or distance. distance. May we, we embrace, embrace your promise, promise of eternal life. life. And, and in, in our, our grief, we receive your gift of peace, hope, hope joy, joy, faith. faith. Lord, in your mercy. You are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Heal the memories of hurt and fail. Give us the wisdom and grace to use it aright, the time that is left to us here on earth, to turn to Christ and follow in his footsteps. in the way that leads to everlasting life. Let us remember the words of all. Love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than a man laid down his life in his truth. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Lord, in your mercy. God of mercy, entrusting into your hands all that you have made, and rejoicing in our communion with all faithful departed, we make our prayers to Jesus Christ for you. Lord, in your mercy. And pray for the soul of Ellen and Beatrice and the souls of all the departed, known and unknown. May they rest in peace and rise in the Let us pray with confidence as our Father and as the souls. Our Father, what are you? How are you? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We must this day our daily Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Thank you all of you for being uh, so well behaved as well. I couldn't help but remember when you were talking about uh, Mrs. Jefferson's food. Uh, two things that struck me about her 
One was how we could never just hop around for a minute. And the other was when I was uh, telling her about uh, plans that we had for the church. And she said to me uh, something along the lines I took it from school at the time. Uh, Reverend, you will not rebuild the church, God will rebuild the church, which I think is very clear. Then her uh, humanity, her humility came through. She said, I pray and I hope that God will rebuild the church. I have uh, hope and faith that God is rebuilding the church and we gather together and remember proudly and fondly, not just the love that has been shared, but also the faith that has been shared. What's going to happen in a few minutes is I will invite you to stand and we will sing our final hymn. During that uh, time, you'll notice some people scurrying around with little buckets in their hand. Please do give generously, because if it's through the generous giving uh, and the gifts that people will give, that we are able to help to rebuild the church so far. After we have sung our message of faith standing, and we will gather around and minister together around at the coffin, and we will sense her again with insects and holy water that includes the mind service to make sure that the start of the yard. And we will be praying and then this is Jeffrey's God's care. And then we will leave the church and we will make our way up to St. Bob Hill. And there is a coach and a boat that you think you can walk all that way. Get on the coach. Uh, as always, what we will do is that there will be something back there to make sure that nobody has been left. So if you suddenly find yourself in an empty church and everybody is gone, don't cry to yourself. Make yourself known to the church uh, staff members will come to They will make sure you get the taxi or a car to get the staff and we do then invite you back to the Empire, uh, where the celebration uh, will be taken. Uh, and pray to us, ministers aren't able to be there. Uh, we'll show short staff the moment of this, uh, having a positive test. So uh, we will leave you either here or at some point. So that my prayers uh, go with you, and we'll continue to go with you. So now, please do stand as we join together in our closing hymn. It is a resounding hymn. Let your voices so that we can hear the singing into your mouth and tongue. And we sing that lovely heart, all love and
And, uh, be true. Go on your journey from this world, carried by the God who made you, the God who loves you. May the homeward path rise to meet you, and may you be welcomed across the threshold and received in love's end. For you there is no more death or sorrow at all. So may the country of heaven enfold you and keep you in peace this day and all things. Amen. Let us pray. God be in my head and in my bosom. God be in my eyes and in my bosom. God be in my mouth and in my soul. God be in my heart and in my head. God be at my end and at my beginning. Amen. Those of you who are leaving and here are not coming to suffer. May God grant the living praise to the departed blessed to the world's peace, and to all the brothers and his faith, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and remain with you. Amen.
steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Place the coffin down on the two strips of wood, and then you all need to thread the web through the handle, which is by your feet. A reading from Luke's Gospel. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal it to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy slow to anger and of great goodness. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever towards those that fear him. And his righteousness is upon their children's children. Right. the web. Lift the coffin. Now let the web stop. Let that bed and go down a bit first. So we've got the coffin there. Now all that. Now, if one of each pair could pull the web out, please. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
all like to move off the red platform so you're nice and safe, please. We have entrusted our sister, Elena Beatrix Jeffers, to God's mercy, and we have committed her body back to the ground. Earth to earth and ashes to ashes and dust to dust in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies, that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Go forth upon your journey from this world, Christian soul. Eleanor, Beatrice, in the name of God, the Father who created you, in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, who died for you, in the name of his Holy Spirit who sustained and strengthened you. May you be accompanied on your journey by Our Lady Saint Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, and your blessed Saint Peter. May your portion this day be in peace and your dwelling in the new Jerusalem, where God with his saints and those who have gone before you in the faith of Christ reigns forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in your Son Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and in us all our days, that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us <clears throat> and remain with us always. Amen. Anybody with any flowers want to put them right now, please? Behind you. Behind you. Yes, yes. On the song sheets, we have got a uh, bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together. Yes, we're going to sing this song. If you know this too. Bind us together. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together in love. There is only one God, there is only one King, there is only one body, 
that's why we sing. Oh, yes, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with laws that cannot be broken. Bind us together, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Though there are many branches, there is only one vine. Where we are one in Christ Jesus, that there we sing. Oh, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together with love. One this Christ in his death that as one we might rise. So we but one people, that is why we sing. Oh, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cause that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. There is only one table. Christ alone is a host. He invites us together. That is why we sing. Oh, bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with cause that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together. Oh, bind us together with love. The next one we would like to sing here this afternoon is on a hill far away to an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of low sinners was made. On a hill, stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering. So one cherish, so till my trophies, at last I lay down. I will bring and exchange it someday for a crown. On the old rugged cross, so despised by the world. As a one, just a trap shone for me. For the dear Lamb of God, let his glory abound to bear it to the Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Till my job is at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross. 
our next day is Sunday, when we grow in the glory of His glory, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For those on that old cross, Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross in my toes at last I Okay. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday to that old rugged cross I will ever be true. His shame and reproach gladly bear. He'll call me someday to my home far away, where His glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my truth is at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands had made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. I power throughout the universe. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world I had had made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, and sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great Through the world and the forest glades, I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur. And in the book, and in the gentle breeze, 
And since my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. And since my soul, my Savior God, How great thou art, how great thou art, and Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation, and take me home. For joy shall fill my heart, and I shall bow in humble adoration, and there proclaim, my God, how great thou art, and sing to my soul. How great thou art, how great thou art, and sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great Yes, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the day was in best, for a word of lost sinners was made. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best. For the world of Lord Sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Till my throat is at last I lay down. I will cling. The old rugged cross and next 
sing it someday for a crown. On that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, as a wondrous attraction for me. For oh, the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it the Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Till my throne is at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. In that old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. Oh, it was on that old cross, Jesus suffered and died. To pardon and sanctify me, so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my joy is at last I lay down. I will cling. To the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. To that old rugged cross, I will ever be true. It's shame and reproach. Then he'll call Sunday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rocket cross. In my throne, in the last I live, I will pray to the old
Yeah, we'll sing this one here because it's very get, it's getting very, very cold at this moment, you know, and I can't even hold this song. So she, and I says, oh, this one says, oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands had made. I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe is made. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands had made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power through all the universe is made. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great the world, how great the When through the world, and for his glaze I wonder and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and see the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou And when I sing, that God is Son of Spirit, send him to die, I scarce can take it in, that on the cross my burden gladly bearing, and then my God, how great Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior. God to thee, how great the Lord, how great the when Christ shall come with shout of acclamation. And it take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration, and it 
proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior. God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Thank you very much. One love.
Is it four? No, no, cool. is it, is no, no, no. Is it, no. Is it, I can't. It, you have to tell is me. It, yeah. Is it Jim? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 And it is four. Oh my God, Jesus! Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. You have to point her out, man. Yeah, I think Kathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And all the I rest of the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, it will change. It will change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trees are in Colin. Yeah. Of a steel, yeah. Colin Steel Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to his a little bit. That's yeah. on his way. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That's the... Where did you yeah. live? Huh? Where did you live? I come to and you come all the way down to the yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was down there. Two kids lived down. One of them down there. But yeah, I passed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never had a problem. Yeah. 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 It's been cold. I had to come here today because I stopped yeah. it in the day when we was, you know, yeah. we... His son Jesus Christ was laid in a tomb. Bless. We pray this grave as a place where the body of Elena Beatrice may be joined together again with William, your servant, that they may rest in peace through your son who is the resurrection and the life. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may God give you his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and for all of us here. The blessing of our Lord Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be on those who you love as well this day and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Stay safe as well.
I didn't actually, you know, when you keep looking, so it's like, it's <laughs> 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 <See> your eyes. <laughs> Oh, you got mad hair? Yeah. Do you want me to like come out? I come would up. appreciate it if you would. Yeah, yeah. Let me hold them up right there. See you around later, buddy. See you around later. All right. Thank you. Michelle.
Thank you.